guys, tonight we're talking about tint removal. You know, when your tint gets all bubbly and faded. I got these big 50 inch by 50 inch windows that the tint's been up for about 10 years, so it's bubbling and fading. So I gotta get that stuff off so the people that move in here are gonna have nice windows to look through. So let me show you how I did it and the tools that I used. Okay, you're gonna need some type of scraper, whether it's a four inch one, a six inch one, or one of those small, tiny window scrapers. Some kind of spray bottle to put the solution on the window, whether it's a squeeze one or a pump one. You're also gonna need trash bags and some baby shampoo it can be generic or name brand johnson and johnson it doesn't matter but that's what you're going to make the solution with it's just water and baby shampoo and of course i'll leave a link in the description on the bottom to all of these products in case you're really lazy and you don't want to leave the house you can have them sent straight to your house okay these are the two windows that i'm working with over here and let me show you why i'm going to take the tin off of these so you can see here the uh it's starting to bubble quite a bit here in this area uh and right on this one here you see it's very blurry this doesn't look anything like this over here, which is a very clear view. And it's hard to see uh, through the camera, but the tint's actually turning like a purplish color. And what that is, is the bubbling is the adhesives breaking down and the turning of the colors is the dye in the tint um, changing color because the sun's been beating down on this for about 10 years. So it's time for it to come off. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy. I don't use a heat gun because sometimes, you know, you'll heat it up too much and you run the risk of breaking the glass. And I'm not trying to pay for a 50 by this, uh, each glass is around 50 by 50 inches. I'm not trying to shatter that thing up. Um, and sometimes too, you can heat it up too much and then uh, you'll end up just melting the, the tint straight to the glass. Um, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to get a trash bag. I'm going to squirt this window down with some baby shampoo and some water. Stick a trash bag to it. Let it sit for about two hours and then scrape it off with a razor. So let me show you how I do it. Okay guys, here's a look at that big piece that I pulled off first. You're gonna notice that there's no tint on here. That's because this is just the clear plastic stuff. It's the first layer. If this happens, it's gonna come off very easily. You're gonna be able just to pull it. Uh, that's because you're leaving the uh, adhesive behind. So that's what this looks like. Man, it's still coming down on here. Okay, so you see me take off that clear layer. That's the, the clear stuff, but you can see the adhesive is still left behind. That's why I made this little hole here. Now, best case scenario, when I started off down in this corner, when I started peeling off, sometimes I'll get the tint and the adhesive all at one time. I wasn't that lucky, but we still got a shot right up here. You can see that division up there. That portion actually might come off, but I'll show you what razor blade I'm going to use to kind of get through here. I'm using a four inch one, but I definitely recommend the six one. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to take off all this adhesive now. Okay, guys, here's a closer look at the four inch blade I was using. You can see that the handle is straight. There's that four inches across the top. I don't really recommend this one. This costs about eight bucks, but if you're going to just do one window or one small job, this will be fine. But that straight handle really, really sucks. I would recommend getting something like this guy. First of all, look at the real estate difference you're going to get, right? You're going to scrape a lot more with this than you are with this. The handle is already angled down so you don't have to bend your wrist when you're scraping. You're going to see me doing that um, as we go along. Um, and the handle is round. You're going to see this roundness right here. So it's really comfortable for your hand to grab onto. And there's a place for a stick to go on the bottom. So this one costs about $25. This one costs about $8. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you guys want to have them sent straight to your house, no problem.
Okay, this little bit here was that corner that I was trying to work on the window. And you can see that it actually kind of looks like tint because it is tint. I got the tint adhesive and that clear plastic layer all at one crack. And you're going to be able to tell when you get a good butt on it, when you're pulling on it, it's going to feel a little bit harder to come off and it's going to feel a lot thicker. All right, you pretty much lubricate the window with the solution. You run your blade through it, clean off all the extra gunk and you're done. Guys, that's the ending of the video. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And as always, I'll catch you later.